All right, the video you're looking at here is desperate locals scrambling for trains out of Ukraine as Russian forces continue to close in on Kiev. The exodus comes after Russia threatened to fire missiles aimed at destroying Ukraine's intelligence network in the capital. The U.N. says roughly about 870 people have fled that country so far. And meantime, John, Ukraine bracing for another day of fighting as invading Russian forces claim to take full control of Kherson and advanced onto the capital city of Kiev while troops continue to ramp up attacks now on those urban areas this day seven. Top Ukrainian officials say they've also thwarted an assassination attempt against the president, Volodymyr Zelensky. And just a few moments ago, U.S. defense officials reportedly say around 70 percent of Russian soldiers who were deployed in Ukraine are now either out or very close to running out of fuel and food. So that is a major development there. Joining us live again from the, the near Kiev is Sarah Williamson with more on what's happening at this hour there. Sarah. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Bianca. I want to talk about her son a little more because you mentioned that the Russians, they claiming they are claiming to take full control of her son down in the southeast of the country. But the Ukrainians, they say otherwise. Local authorities say that although her son is fully surrounded, the battle for the city continues. Now, there is video that we have seen of Russian troops in the city centre, but that doesn't mean that they have taken the town. The the mayor of Kherson has requested that a green corridor be put in place uh, to bring out the dead and the wounded and also bring in medical supplies. And also back to that assassination attempt against President Zelensky, uh, it was said that it was an elite unit of Chechen uh, special forces that were behind the plot and subsequently have been eliminated. Now, apparently, Ukrainian authorities had been tipped off uh, about the plot by members of Russian federal security services who apparently did not support the war. Bianca and John. Well, Sarah, I mean, we see, we've seen the maps. We see how close the Russian military is to both Kiev and Kharkiv. Is, is there any indication on when the Ukrainians think they might actually try to infiltrate those cities? Uh, it's a good question, actually. And if you ask any member of the military, they will probably tell you never because they have been giving it every single effort to continuously push back uh, these Russian forces as they continue to fight their way in. And their uh, sort of the way that they've been operating is they've been aiming for their uh, fuel and their ammo. So these uh, tr so these tanks can't actually make their way in to begin with. But if you continue to ask, if you do ask these uh, troops, they're going to tell you that even if they do make their way into these cities, that they're going to be ready. That's how confident the Ukrainian military really is. All right, Sarah Williamson for us live in Ukraine. Sarah, great job reporting. Look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. Thanks, Sarah.